show. It's Friday. That means we can chill the fuck out and watch our low, low cinematics over and over and over again. Count them. Count them. Unos. Dos. Two cans of Monster Assault. Sponsor, please. But I can't drink them all on my own. Join me, sir. Welcome! Welcome, mate! Cuddle me. Cuddle, Cuddle me. you. Cuddle you up close! Cuddle you up fucking close! The big man is here because you're not in work. Explain to me, sir. What is Monster Assault? I don't know. Why did you bring it to my home? Two points. Two points. I went to get regular Monster. Nice. This one's called Assault. That is one th One. And it's got digital camouflage on the can. Have you noticed that it is red? Which could only mean that it's stronger than regular Monster. You ready? Let's do it. It's like an unboxing. You don't like it, do that's you? That's dirty. That's dirty. Oh, it's like a regular one. Oh my god. Got it. That's like, oh, that's like coal or something. Oh, that's like coke, it is. It's like, ah, oh. Ranky, rank, rank. Welcome to Drama Friday. I encourage every single one of you here to tune in before we get started into the web show tomorrow because there are several things going on. One, we're revealing to the ladies about Team US. Go. Second, I've chosen a class and a rating guild for Warlords of Draenor, talking about it tomorrow. And of course, all the information in the universe came out about Warlords of Draenor in the last couple of days. We had a cinematic, initial reaction. Awesome. Legendary rings. <laughs> and all kinds of other stuff going on, and all kinds of other stuff. So tune to the web show tomorrow, because all those things are going on tomorrow, 8pm, GMT. That's London time. Google it. Google it. Or just follow, or just constantly watch my videos. All day tomorrow, and the YouTube annotations are working. Oh, it'll just tell you when I'm live. How amazing is that? We're going to kick off today. I've got three stories for you. Three beautiful stories. that are all a little bit sexy. We're getting sexy, because you're here. In tribute to you how being sexy? here. We're getting pretty sexy. How if sexy? If I'm being honest, it gets... It's... Can we have an example of how sexy talking? I need to see how much swag... One is dedicated have. to flirtation. The other one... <laughs> there is a story. Now, I want to point this out before we read it. Before we read it, is there is a story here, and can you read the title of the story? I became homeless because of ERP. Yeah. So, now, we're obviously going Oh, okay, I, I see where that's going to go. Okay. Homeless. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's only that's, way that's going. Homeless. Now, it's a dark story, but it has some twists in it. We're going to have some fun with it. Now, remember, this person rent sent the story because they wanted to share it with all of us. So we can enjoy and rejoice and not feel bad. Which we won't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> too much of an asshole to care. Ah, but I also want to ask you something else, people. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you all something else there, out there in interwebs. I went to see the t-shirt guy yesterday. And he's going to do a drama t-shirt. On said designated drama t-shirt, there will be quotes from the best drama stories we've ever told. I want to know what you think they should be. So we'll have things like obvious ones like Fred's tree will be on there. Dish Good face. Old. Dish face will be on there. All kind of things like that are going to be all over that place. The gators are snapping. I laid an egg. We all remember the I laid an egg story. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> that happened. We've been there. Send it to me. Email me. Questions at preachgaming.com. Just title it. Drama quotes. Battle swag. What do you think of battle swag? I like Did it. Did it tickle you? Yeah. I disapproved. What? Why I did actually, you disapprove? It's I got actually, the word I've done, I've done some well. All those kind of things. Please email them to me so we don't miss any out. Because once the t-shirt is made, it's made, right? It's, all, it's done. But it's going to have all that kind of stuff That's on it. That's the worst logic I've ever heard. Man. Well, once it's made, it's made. Well, I'm not going to keep changing it, is all I'm going to say. Like, we forgot one. YOLO swag bra. I don't remember that one. Dish face, dish face, battle swag. Yeah, all If you don't have the things. gators are snapping on it, I don't care. I don't even remember the gators are snapping. The one, like, my favourite story of when a bloke went to Vegas to meet that fat hillbilly bird and then she was actually pregnant and then she rang him up on the phone and he says how are they getting the gators are snapping the gators are snapping, <laughs> gators are snapping. <laughs> I don't remember that but okay yeah so it's gonna get that but first we're gonna start off with a little story stop putting your fist like that well I feel like I've got a bump it every time you I don't know, know if it's a cue for a bump or if it's just some sort of like office employee of the month pose it's my resting arm it's my resting arm. You know what's bothering me? It's Don't make a fist. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do some of this. Because I seem to be crossing over you. You do a lot, don't I do. you? I, I cross over you. What I'm not going to do that. I don't, I don't want to cross over you. Um, we're going to... You smell some, lovely, by the way. That's because I am delicious. You are delicious. What's the biggest problem facing you and WoW right now? 
and all these wonderful people right here. Me, personally. That's or... right. Flirtation. How to be... <laughs> <laughs> we read all these stories about people picking up e-dates and generally being rather electronically involved in some manner. But virtually. That's right. Virtual humping. And many of you asked me the question, how can I be that smooth? I've got the answer for you in this He's story right here. Answer. I've got the answer for you right here. This story goes by the name of the Spineless Alpha. And if any of you are looking to pick up one of these e-ladies, or perhaps you e-ladies out there are looking to pick up one of these e-boys, this is one way to go about it. In tribute to you, sir. Hey? A love story. I don't do love. It's, it's not that kind of love. It's raunchy, filthy, hot and heavy love. Talk to me. Are you ready? We should have some piano music. <clears throat> As all love stories do, it starts out in that similar way. I was fishing for a spine fish alpha in Kunlai Summit. We've all been there. We have. We have. We've all been there. I was trying to gain some rep with one and only Nat Pagel. The rich, famous, and not to forget, drunken fisherman of the anglers. Oh, Nat. So beautiful. So I was going about my business when out of nowhere a travel formed female druid swept down from the sky and landed next to me. She whipped out her fishing stick. Pole would have been better. I know because... Pole like, would have been a better yeah. use. I know what you were going for there because you even put it in quotation marks. You went for fishing stick. Fishing pole. Why is it, why is it in quotation marks? Because uh, it is oh. actually a fishing stick, isn't it? In brackets, uh, she didn't have a real fishing pole in her bag. So what did she actually... I am confused. Then? What does that mean? I don't know, but it's an in inverted commas. How does one fish without a fishing pole? And why is it in inverted commas? This is rife with grammatical errors, and I don't think I can continue to listen. Anyway. Please, carry on. And began her fishing. I thought this behaviour was strange. I think the grammar's strange. I think it's not strange to land somewhere near water and start fishing in water. Do you think it's a cock? Right, well, she could be transsexual druids. Happens all the time. She could, I mean, she can shapeshift. Why can't she shapeshift a cock? To be fair, have you ever tried to get a bear to roll on its back so you can check? I have. It's not easy. It doesn't it's sound not very easy. easy. It's not easy. I've got to be honest. Your best bet, really, is to get them into seal form. You've got a better chance. In fairness, you have. In fairness, you have. You've got to get, get, if you get, them them seal, get them on land, seal form, flappy tail, out the way. And you can spot a dick a mile away. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I wasn't fishing in a school, so there was no reason for her to come and fish beside me. Why did she? She must want the D. She's... Oh, <laughs> Every time dude. someone lands near me and whips out a fishing stick, That's she wants I, the D. Can you imagine that? Just like... <laughs> <laughs> what, with the stare? <laughs> yeah. My pool. Hey, boy. <laughs> yeah. She's like, hillbilly. Yeah. She's probably <laughs> redneck. Yeah, you look mighty cute in them leather breeches. <laughs> Where'd you get that fish bowl? Get that out of the swamp there, boy? Check it now. I'm a burr. You ever heard of piggy squeal? <laughs> squeal, piggy. <laughs> you ever heard of piggy squeal? It turns into a pig. And just goes, you ever heard of piggy squeal? <laughs> <laughs> just starts giving it. <laughs> this is really strange. Okay. Usually, fishing is like peeing in the urinals, where it is common courtesy to not stand too close. Okay. Is I, I thought, yeah. I've been doing that so wrong. Well, I thought we should just people. piss in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're talking about pissing now? Yeah, in a urinal. No, 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 no. There's got to be at least one urinal gap. Unless you're deliberately going to be awkward. And if you do have to stand next to someone, it's etiquette. If you've got to stand next to someone in a urinal, you have to drop your drawers all the way down to I have really a question awkward. for you, sir. If you have a one urinal gap, how do you check cocks? Because that doesn't make any sense to me at all. You need a good lean. <laughs> No, 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 no! It's more of a, it's more of a rainbow scoop. I like to call it. So you're taking a piss. I'm taking a piss. It's more of a. All right, okay. You crouch down. You're not at full potential. Then your giraffe neck, and then you go. There you go. I've had a look at your dick, and you are none the wiser, sir. <laughs> you are none the wiser. <laughs> so stealth. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> I always stand next to people when I have a piss because I'm generally taller. It makes them uncomfortable. You do. When we if you can stop together, a stream, that's a bonus. <laughs> you used to fucking barge me in the shoulder when we used to work together and piss. Because it's all good fun. <laughs> it's all good fun. <laughs> it's all good fun. What's looking at cocks between friends? Never did me. Everyone's, seen everyone's dick. 
I wasn't fishing in a school, so there was no reason for her to come and fish beside me. I'd been fishing many times in popular fishing locations. <laughs> the, the, the parties. Standard. But never have I witnessed someone doing this. Usually doing what? Coming so close. Okay. okay. Coming so close. This lady, however, stood right beside me. But I continued my fishing for now. Minutes yeah. went by. And since she hadn't left, I decided to say something. Will you be the voice of the smoother? Okay, okay. So he's deciding to say something. It's, there's an awkward silence. And Let's he, role play. He's going to break the play. silence. I'm fishing. Okay. I'm fishing. I'm fishing. I'm you fishing. need some sort of like feminine product. It's okay. To, okay. I'll be the lady. Okay, you ready? <clears throat> you better be a girl. <laughs> Why? <laughs> ha! Ha! Because you're stealing all my fish. He said rather smoothly. <laughs> he says that in the story because you're stealing my fish. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> That's how you do it, guys. How to break the ice? You're stealing my, stealing fish. my fish. And then he moved in close from it. And my heart. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. panties! Yeah. Panties! Yeah. Take them! Take drop the em. panties! Drop em. Drop take em. the panties! Drop them! She laughed and even giggled a little. <laughs> Not with the slash emote kind of bullshit. <laughs> it's not that kind of girl. No, no, no. no She's slash. literal. She's literal. But rather with a genuine slash slay. Ha 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 ha. Which quickly turned into a... <laughs> oh, right. I read that as hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Why is she saying hi, 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 hi? hi. hi. <laughs> Where she started to get really aroused. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. Hi. What the fuck is that? So she would sound more girly. Next thing you know, I'm showing off with transformation lockets. Oh. Whipped Whoa. out his orb of deception. Whoa. Orb of deception on hand. Playing the big guns a bit early on for my liking. Tell me, do you know of Noggin Fogger? <laughs> Got myself a little savoury deviant delight up in here. Oh, savoury deviant delight. For the ladies. For the ladies, For indeed, the ladies. Sir. And that's why you always carry for the ladies. Always take protection and save your DVD. When you get yourself a Demon Hunter transformation trinket, come talk Oof. to me. Yeah. Ooh, that, oh, it, she would have loved that. You know what? It's actually renamed in my bag too, the Panty Dropper. You go in a raid, you go pop, and everyone just goes, ah. Oh, and then did you whip yeah. out the train set? No. Choo -choo, bitch. I take all the loot, then whip out the train set. And then probably just half stone out. But like, <laughs> that, that, last, that last split second of the half stone, you just go. Such a disappointing ending. That is wiping your dick on the pillow and walking out. Of course it is. That's, That's not, dropping them out. Look, it's not disappointing for you though, is it? Oh no. Exactly, sir. I'm always exactly. satisfied. So I'm showing off with my transformation lockets, drinking horns, and even the rare whole body shrinker. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh. The big guns have been played. The cards are in fact on the table. This was just to get her attention. Wow. None of it, however, seemed to work. It's a fucking guy. Shooting blanks. It's a guy. Shooting blanks. No girl would ever give up on that. A transformation trinket. What girl's going to say no to that? Multiple transformation trinkets. And the whole body shrinker. Not even a rise. Not even a flutter. Not even a drip. I, I got a fucking rise. Not a fucking drip. I'll tell you that, sunshine. Neither of us had gotten the spinefish alpha yet. Which I assume we were both fishing for. Well, it doesn't sound like the fishing anymore. It sounds like he's fucking around with trinkets. Thusly, interrupting the cast of said fishing. Can I just point out that Keely just gave the greatest girl response ever? Would you really want a shrinker? Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding dong. That's one for the ladies. Indeed. That will go on the shirt. Do you really want a shrinker? Hey, yo. You have to go. We're doing the show. <laughs> Do you really want a shrinker? Out of boredom, I guess. She randomly summoned her level one tiny goldfish pet. Oh, it's a mock! He used the shrinker. She replied in kind, tiny goldfish pet. Oh! Subtle burn. She's Subtle a burn. lady. She Subtle is a burn. proper lady. Oh, nice. So you used the shrinker, did you? Well, let me just tell you what I think of it. A stupid mm. fish in a a stupid fish in a bubble which floats around in midair. Don't scoff because you didn't see what she was going for. Chink chink. Yeah, Pee Wee. This gave me an idea. It was time to bring out the bad boy. The World of Warcraft womanizer. The little sea pony from the Dark Moon Fair. Nothing that, says not butch. A Nothing says butch like whipping out the little sea pony from the Dark Moon Fair. No, sir. 
Oh. That sounds like he's played all these big guns. He's run out, hasn't he? Yeah, he's run this out of steam. Is, this, is his, this is his back line now. Ran this out is his of last steam. line of defence. What have I got left? It's a little sea pony. <laughs> We're going there. Desperation. It looks desperate. She immediately gasped at the sight of it. <gasps> now, she had never seen it before. She begged of me where to find it. Oh, okay. Oh, he, he played a risky card he here. Did. He did. wild carded it. Wild carded it. I'm back in the room. Let's carry on. At last, I had her attention. After having conversed for some time, my spinefish alpha finally turned up. She noticed this, and not wanting to end the conversation we were having, due to the power of the magnificent sea pony, she started to whisper me instead. Oof. We took it to whisper. We're going personal. The chat turned pink. Intimate. She's showing me the pink. <laughs> so class. Much wow. <laughs> Next time someone's whispering, you say, are we showing me the pink? We walked in, we talked in whisper chat for another 30 minutes or so. Someone just put, she was dripping like an egg sandwich. (laughs) 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 You're taking me out of the, you're taking me out of the dream. You're taking me out of the dream. Oh, I've got tears in my eyes. We talked in whisper chat for another 30 minutes or so. And she told me that she was a 23 year old girl from the Netherlands. Team Dutch. She's going for the double Dutch rudder. Being yes. only 18, I saw this as an achievement. Your thoughts? 18 versus 23, not buying it as an achievement. I think that is just standard practice. No, 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 no. It's, it's definitely an achievement, mate. Because at that age, you know, it, for our age, it doesn't seem like a big gap. Oh, we look mean, back on it. But at that age, even at 18, a 23 year old is a classy bird. Ha! <laughs> she shaped. She is definitely setting you into land. With that landing strip. Mm. I, I think at 18, I think I'd had a 23 year old. Did so you? So I'll claim that achievement. Yeah. Well done, mate. I didn't see that much at the I time. I had an 18 year old when I was 13, but that's for another time. <laughs> <laughs> that's legal. <laughs> we'll leave that for the course to decide. <laughs> <laughs> that was for the course to decide. As the conversation progressed, however, I got scared and I had to go. <laughs> Wait a minute! Whoa, 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 whoa! What's the fucking pube in the soup here? What did I just miss? Nothing yet. We're Hang going about. in. He found. He saw it as an achievement. As the conversation progressed, however, I got scared and said I had to go. Mm-hmm. Blue balls. What the fuck Blue is this? Blue balls. It was getting too real for him. Why? Because it was close. He's man. eighteen. She's twenty. Well, you know what? You know what's happened here. He's found out that it's actually a guy through no, Skype. If she loses interest, he's already used the tiny pony. There's nothing he needs, left in his needs. fucking arsenal. He's fired all his shots, man. Fair He's enough. prematurely ejaculated the pony. Leave a wanting. He should have left a wanting. Yeah. He should have kept the pony in the fucking bag and tried something else, but instead, he went all in. Instead of adding her as a friend, I wrote her name down on a piece of paper and quickly turned the computer off before she could Why reply. Why did you write it down on a piece of paper? It got dirty. What once was a mystery to me is now clear as day. And I understand now why people role play so erotically. She must have brought the noise. That's what I'm reading there. What the fact that she laid it on thick to him after the story. I think the egg sandwich got very thick. Treacleish. I think it got treacle. I think it went to the point where it would not fall off the spoon. You know, she whipped the cream too much. I don't. Uh, it's usually <clears throat> not the guy that backs out, though. You know. Oh, he got afraid. He did get afraid. Get Older afraid. woman. Got... Cougar. Cougar. Twenty-three. Cougar. <laughs> However, I decided not to take part in such endeavours because school is in session, and there is a girl in my class with gigantic boobs. Fair play. That's a good comeback. <laughs> I will not partake yeah. of your EAP, and why? There's a girl in my class. You could be with a guy. Tits. She's got massive tits. Sorry. Tits. Tits priority over everything. I'll rather have a go at her and let drama time be the only place. Have a go at her. Have the a classy, go. The classy have number go. at the end. Where any, and he's not going to do any more RP for him. Sticking real. Sticking real. RP for life. Son. You know what so bothers me about that? He can go for the girl with the big boobs. That's fine. But he can also be getting some kicks at home on the PC. Exactly. He can be getting some kicks In at home on the PC. and out of game. In and out of game. And that's, that's a twofer. That's a twofer. It's a twofer. It's a twofer. Okay. Before we get homeless. Wow. <laughs> Be aware that picture's coming up. Oh, that's okay. What the fuck game is that? <laughs> we'll get there. Right, you ready? <clears throat> right, it's no Shoot. characters in this one. 
<laughs> this one's called Hard Work and Sacrifice. Something that me, neither me or him know anything about. Sacrifice in this story. I kind of feel like we should cut to you like that guy on Family Guy. The, the newsreader guy. And <laughs> you just sing the bit that's coming up. <laughs> this afternoon, Sacrifice. <laughs> oh, Preacher and Brophy, see you. This is my drama time story, although it doesn't actually take place within Azeroth. It was 20 or 7. The fuck is. Oh, right. I thought he was like talking about a game called 20 or 7 then. AD. I was at the tender age of 12, and I was an annoying brat. My parents refused to buy me computer games because, being an ungrateful douche, I used to see an advert, get excited, beg my parents to buy it, get it, and then immediately get bored and never play it again. Been there. Done that. Bought Cool Spot. It happened. Yeah, yeah I bought the cool. Seven Up. The character. Seven Up, and I didn't even know that. I just thought it looked like a cool game. <laughs> I had no idea it was Seven Up related. That's worse because you didn't buy it because you know the character from Seven Up. You just bought a game which was. Let's just put the cards on the table. It's a circle in sunglasses. There was a day, my friend. There was a day. There's never a get. There's never a day when I paid thirty-five English pounds for a Mega Drive game for James Pond. James Robo Pond. I had that on the Amiga, sir. Robocod. But in a world where there's battle toads, you yeah. don't get s fucking cool spot. It was a long time before I got to Mortal Kombat. Desert Strike. <sighs> yes, <gasps> exactly. <gasps> the best game of all time. Dun, 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 Behind, dun, dun, of course, dun. Moonwalker. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. The best game Catching of all time. Catching stars all fucking day, son. And you can moonwalk. Yes, it's the main can. thing. Oh! And collecting little girls. Michael! And you get the chimp on the shoulder that points to the bad guy. <laughs> and then there was that time we... I'm totally going to have to get an emulator now. <laughs> no, illegal. Naughty. That's not you, though. That's all right, then. This emulator one scene was not endorsed by Preach Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Their refusal to buy me games was becoming a real problem in my life. That's the first world problem, right? This is actually turning into a genuine problem. I want these fucking games. <laughs> this, fuck this isn't a joke anymore, Mum and Dad. I've read reviews. I've seen PC Gamer. Okay, I've got cheap books. Sell a tape together. I know what's good. And I know how to beat them quickly. Golden Axe. I know how to do it. Golden Axe. It's becoming a real problem in my life. Best when one day I stumbled across the one, the only, the legend, Wow Hobbs. He was power leveling people in Scarlet Monastery. And my mind was blown. 3D graphics. Swords. Dances. I had to have this one. In that order. Tick the list of games you need. 3D graphics, boom. Swords, dancing. Fucking hell. In that order, tick the fucking boxes. I had to have this one. I begged and begged my parents, crying and screaming when they were trying to relax. You motherfucker, I would have smashed your teeth. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't oh. stop. I wouldn't stop punching you until I could lift my hand anymore. No, nope. I swear to God, if my hand is not literally Cargath Blade Fist, we ain't finished. That seems really inadequate for a guy who's really badass. Can I play this? Describe him in a motion. <laughs> like, it was, what's that, that game you play at parties? Well, we don't, because it's lame. But where you, you have the board, and you have to guess what people are doing from motions. You have to mime charades. 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 Wow charades. We should totally do wow charades with the audience one day. It's Can I Yeah. Who am I? Who am I? Which famous law hero am I? <laughs> I could bring in like a raw piece of chicken and say, the Picture clue is, it. the clue is, it's been in the oven, but it's not cooked yet. And that's sort of related to his famous phrase. All I can think of is the rock. No. <laughs> the chicken's not prepared. <laughs> oh, it's well, Illidan. You could be the raw chicken. I'm Illidan Stormridge. Yeah, some chicken. <laughs> I'm Illidan Stormridge. Yeah, how do you get from raw chicken to Illidan Stormridge? <laughs> like that, motherfucker, like that. <laughs> When they were trying to relax or working from home, telling them that this time would be different. This game was unlike anything I wanted before, but it was to no avail. They refused, but I refused to give up. Good man. Persistent little bastard. Although my parents said I couldn't get the game, I decided I will fulfill my desire to play it myself. This meant I needed one thing. Cash money, brother. Cash money. Ain't nothing funny. Being 12, I had none. <laughs> so I don't need a subscription. Not even thought this through, has it? Unbelievable really? prick. But I was too... No, I was not a noob. Inspired by Hobbs, 
Making money, power leveling, I decided to take this principle and apply it to the wider world. He wow, set up his own money, business. In game money? Currency? That's not going to help him buy the fucking game, though. It was, it? it was the power leveling that inspired him. Okay. What, what inspires what, anyone about story? 12 years old? About power leveling? I don't know. Boobs, maybe. There's no boobs there, though. Hobbs always shows it's boobs. Dude. Does he show boobs, really? Oh, Bob shows boobs. I can see the appeal. I can see the appeal. Yeah, a little yeah, bit of nipple. Yeah. Me and my friends used to play this game called Tibia. And although I quit because it was shit. Isn't that in a woman's vagina? No, that's a leg bone. But close. Labia. <laughs> Labia. <laughs> what do I think? Labia. But still, they, well, my friends still played. I offered to level my friends' Tibia characters for a quid a level. Oh, a Tibia's a leg bone. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> For those of you not aware, Tibia is a 2D MMO. 99% populated by Brazilians. Where you can only get XP by grinding mobs. Moreover, gaining one level could take upwards of 15 to 16 hours playtime. 15 to 16 hours for a pound? Sounds legit for a 12 year old, right? Keeps him fucking occupied and out of my face. That's like bad sweatshop time. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ death meant a 30% to 40% XP loss at that level and since my and you sure you don't want it casual and for, you sure you don't want it still casual sure and since my friends still played this game all the time I would have to level them when they were out having fun IRL or asleep nevertheless I pushed on as I knew with a little effort I would be able to see the visual joy that is Scarlet Monastery Graveyard you're not going to see it in that fucking game Scroll down, I want to see that screenshot. Yeah, the combat system in Tibia is not exactly Guild Wars 2. Do you mean it's good? Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh burn! Boom! Shut up, Shell! Fucking hell! Boom, boom, boom! I went there. I went there. Yeah, the combat system in Tibia is not exactly Guild Wars 2. And by this I mean it is literally clicking a mob, clicking over a mob, and then waiting for a few minutes for its health to get to zero. That's exactly like Wildstar. <laughs> oh! Oh! What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm letting the fire rise. No, no, no. It's not as like the lever nerf the difficulty in Wildstar like they did this week. <laughs> Fuck that game. Oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, but they I'm not. Did, did they nerf the... Why? The achievement got nerfed because it was taking too long. <laughs> the sick birds. There weren't any fighting animations or sound. Or sound. The game also lacks spells or any other attack. Other than an auto attack. Sounds like a good game though, right? Wow, what? The fucking... What's, uh, is, uh, why? What do you even do? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Furthermore, since killing a player meant you got everything in their backpack, I was ganked several times. All of this resulted in power leveling being an extremely long and unbelievably repetitive task. Here's a screenshot to give you an idea of what I would intensely stare at for hours. I don't think this, this, they're even ready. Are you ready? Yeah. This is this is taking up 16 to 18 hours of this chap's day. <laughs> Boom! Oh my god! <laughs> what a game! Give it me. Look, he's got inventory, no shoulders, noob, no ring. What a fucking scrub! I don't like it. It's got spiders. Is that too much for you? No, no, no. It's not exactly Resident Evil. I think I can deal with that. What's that? Po oh, it's got poison spiders though, dude. Look at that. Dude. Dude, poison dude. one. Gotta keep range. Gotta splat Doesn't that. it look like he's in some sort of special forces gear? It looks like a character from Sword of a Million, actually, which I, think, I loved. I think that's special forces. But look at his inventory though. He's got like, you know, like a Spartan helmet and stuff. What is that red exactly thing next that. to his chest? It looks it's like, like a, a big cherry lips. It's like a red slimer. It looks like a killer tomato. It does exactly Attack look like the, the killer, killer tomatoes. tomatoes. Good game, Why has though. he got backpacks in his backpack, so? Oh my god. <laughs> Work that out. So, weeks had gone by of playing that game for a pound every 16 hours. I had auto attack I had auto attack spider after spider to death. A pound every 16 hours? Yeah, that's what he's earning off his friends. That's what he's earning? Yeah. Oh, he's earning money in the game? He's power leveling characters for his oh, friends shit. for money. Oh shit, okay. He's, let's say you, being you, don't want to level. Agreed. I don't. And I, I come don't. to you and say, I will level your character. And for every level, you owe me a pound. 
I don't that's think that's good. a good deal. Well, it's not a good deal. If you did, if you power leveled for me a pound every 16 hours, I'll give you my account details right now. <laughs> yeah, for 16 hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my school performance dropped to a record low, but my friend's tunes were rising up in levels. Slowly. <laughs> the tunes are rising. <laughs> tunes rising. Slowly, slowly rising, just like my bank account. One pound. Two pounds. Three pounds. So when he's got it, then he's got to do it for another 140 odd hours to get a month's <laughs> worth of But can you imagine your bank account swelling at such pace? One pound, two pound, three pound. Do you know what I wish they would do? You know when you get paid? Yeah. I wish your bank account would tick up. I wish, mate. I wish I had like a console on my wrist, kind of like Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell. That I could interact with it, and it's got like a gauge, you know, that starts at green, goes down to red as my money's running out. But I've always got the access where I can just go beep, and it'll show me. Would you like it to spin though as your money goes up? I would. I think that'd be pretty. I cool. think that's very silly. <laughs> what a ridiculous <laughs> idea. Silly. Well, my gauge idea. Oh, however, <laughs> yeah, exactly. my gauge idea is the best. One pound, two pound, three pound. It was going to happen. I was going to be able to run Scarlet Monastery. The day finally came. I had acquired enough funds Please to go tell me you can, and get the bus scripture. to game. Please tell me Would you like to read the next line, sir? Where is it? They didn't let me buy a while because I didn't have any ID. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking 12A. Eh? It's a 12, isn't it? We have no ID. All right. Okay, <laughs> I have no proof it was 12. <laughs> I want to buy a while. No. So fucking hard. Oh, it's so fucking hard. But it gets worse. It gets so worse. Where are we? Read that one. Moreover, my parents took away my computer because my grades had plummeted in school due to lack of sleep. So even if I got someone to buy it, I have no means to play it. (laughs) This is genius. This is absolute genius. <laughs> but you've got your swollen bank account though, bro. Yeah, you've yeah, you got a fucking cash dollars. you got cash money, which now you can spend on all your wildest dreams. <laughs> it's going true. Wow. So fucked. Oh my God, that must be the worst day ever for a 12-year-old. That's like Christmas for being cancelled. Finally got the money. You're not having the game. By the time you get home, you ain't got a PC to play it on. Would it have been worse though if he bought the game, bro, and then they took away his PC? No. Do you not think that would no, be no, worse no, mentally? No, no. I mean, you've got the higher like elevation of fun to bad, but this is just a massive decline. It's like a black hole of misery. It's going down to start with, so when he gets home, he's thinking, well, maybe I'll just get back on the game. No, sucker. You ain't got that to fucking go back on either. It's really sad. I feel so bad, but kind of funny. I'd love to do that to my kid. In fact, I'm doing that to Ava. I'm well doing that. How? We should do it together. <laughs> and we'll record yeah. it. Well, no, what we'll do is and we'll, we'll make money on we the back do end. It. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> we could set up a kids' LAN party, yeah, pull, pull the internet connection, and then, oh, the internet's down when they go and check on the internet connection. Just fucking rob the no, PC. For Max's birthday, we're going to a petting zoo. Let's just arrange it. So there's, so there's no, no pet animals. Set. Yes! <laughs> Stop so there's no animals. And then we'll be like, all oh, the animals died. Oh, we're eating them. Do you understand death, kids? <sighs> no, it's do, do you think kids. that's nuggets you're eating yeah. now? <laughs> This is a life lesson, yeah? Life well, lesson. Welcome, to the, welcome to real life. Nothing's given to you on a plate. Exactly. <laughs> then this shit comes free. You will learn. And you will earn. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so fucking hype. I would later go on to play WoW during Mr. Pandaria. And it was pretty good. So you know. Finn. <laughs> the ending's so dry. <laughs> I would go on to play WoW Miss Pandaria. It was pretty good. So you know. <laughs> After all this endless fucking grind, misery, emotional turmoil, it's okay. Alright. Holy shit, I'm really not reading that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think you can see that, can you? I can Excuse me, sir. You're Excuse terrible, I say. me. This is your can that I'm drinking. <laughs> right, we need a mother. Mother! Mother! Boom. Do not walk my way. We need an ex boyfriend. I ain't got a song for that. Can you? We need else? a Scottish boyfriend. I need a fucking girlfriend. We need a dish face son. <laughs> You're a dish face. We need well, another you. girlfriend. Ooh. And we need the girl I likes brother. 
I'll be that. Pick some names. Can you read that or not? Uh, okay, mother. We're gonna go with Gashbringer. Gashbringer. That's always good for the mother. And what we got next? Brett. No real names, please. Okay, it wasn't that word that I just said. Uh, moist cakes. In fact, can we swap them two round? Uh, we do have another lady, so we can put moist cakes as the other lady. Moist cakes. Okay. Okay. Uh, how many girls are in this? All right, the rest of my boys' names. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go with Arrow Goat. I'm just going to go with Goat, if that's okay. No! Yep. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> okay, what we got now? Another guy? Yep. Then in that case, we're going to go with... Hey Cutie. All right, we'll go with Cutie. We've got one more? Two more. Oh, what? Two more, okay. Let's Two find more boys. Let's find a funny one. Let's find a funny one. Come on, you pick one. I'll let you pick one. All right. Baller. Sure, sure. Baller. Well, a baller is one of the lads. And... Wait. Vaymir. 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 Done! Okay. That's it! So, yes. continue to spam the name thing for another 30 seconds while Twitch cats up. Badoosh! Right, this is how I became homeless because of ERP. Obviously, this doesn't particularly end well. But, again, story... We can laugh at it. He's decided to share a story with we us because we can have a bit of a giggle. And I think his, his life in general is actually okay. So, we give him two thumbs up. Regardless of how this story will go down. <laughs> Claire? <laughs> Hello, preacher. I'm Brophy to you, my good man. Hello to you. This is my drama story. The that story was very is... well read, sorry. I always try and put some emotives into it. It's because I'm lyrical in that manner. And you're very articulate. I speak very good England. You do? Sp well, you learned well when you were children. I did. I learned very good. You learned very good. I learned very good. Very good. Very good. This story has resulted in me becoming homeless. That's for the title. Losing a father figure, almost moving to another country, and gaining a new stepfather who I dislike. This is a really fucking miserable story hey, you already. Are you no, fuck? no. But I gained a girlfriend out of it, so that's nice. Back in the room. Back in the room. <laughs> Getting sex though, so that's nice. This story spans World of Warcraft, Lord of the Rings Online. Never forget those doors. World of Warcraft vanilla style private server and EVE Online. That's a nice variety. Isn't it? We went yeah. to Illegal, Lord of the Rings, WoW and EVE. I started playing WoW when I was 11 during the Tubasa. Tubasa, classic. I made a, you, you guessed, guessed it, it, Night Elf Hunter. Like a lolalas. We've all been there. <laughs> we have been there. Yes, we have. We made them and we're proud. They were good characters. History. I was pretty bad at the game and did not reach max level until patch 3.3. But that's mostly that because I was only this. allowed to play on weekends. Patch 3.3 is one of the patches during the expansion. I know that. That would I actually be in Wrath of the Lich King, wouldn't it? 3.3. Because TBC was 2. Oh, so the, the primary <laughs> is that number. Is you doing maths? <laughs> so the, the, the first number is basically what number expansion it is. That would be correct. So wow, I didn't vanilla. know that. Bombshell. Are you for real? I totally didn't that's know all right that. That's alright then, cool. Thanks, mate. Another thing learned. Yeah, I like coming here. I learn things. That's alright, you learn very much science. I learn a lot of things very fast. Quickly almost. Faster quickly. Faster quickly. <laughs> As fast, you quicker than normal pace. <laughs> I got hacked a few months later and could not play it ever again. Ah, uh, oh. free battle net. Battle swag. Battle swag. <laughs> that account. That account was given to me by my ex-stepfather. Do we know who that is? Ex-stepfather? Ex-stepfather. Is his mum? That mother. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! I didn't say it. That <laughs> blame <laughs> though! Immediate blame! <laughs> I didn't say anything. Can I ask though? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know personally. How many ex- I do not know the Gashbringer. He's got to be listening. How many ex- Stepfathers, do you have per se? I'm not calling <laughs> per you per se. Vis a vis. Ergo. Can I fit it on one hand? <laughs> Can she? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Does she use herself as a sock puppet? Oh, 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 come on, it's his mother. It's his mother. I know. Stay brave. <laughs> Stay brave. I am. But you are homeless, so I assume things didn't work out, so love. Me? You're not, right, you're not homeless. Oh, fuck me. No, no, you've got a home. <laughs> Keep up. But you are homeless, no one. <laughs> <laughs> When this happened? <laughs> what? <laughs> my daughter? My wife? What the hell? <clears throat> my mother, the Gashbringer, wanted have to control. Wanted to have control of my gaming. Perfect name. Perfect name. Uh, my mother, the Gashbringer, wanted to have control over my gaming habit. <laughs> it's like 
<laughs> you picked the name. It's like fate has thrown me a bone and I've just sent it straight into his mother. So she offered, she offered, uh, she didn't want, uh, she offered me to play Lord of the Rings Online. Your what? mother brought you Lord of the Rings Online. She hates you. That just sounds like when your mum tries to get you something cool. And no, it's really, when you say, Mum, I want me a really fucking nice pair of like, let's think of a Puma good, disc. I want, no, I want this pair of Dolce & Gabbana jeans. And she comes back with like, as does own price. George. George, mate. George, George. George jeans. 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 George jeans. <laughs> she said that we could play Lord of the Rings online with her because the Gashbringer is a role player and loves Tolkien and video games and plays things like D and D in high school and college. Not to mention she also played EverQuest and EverQuest Two, but she did not like WoW. I can see where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> Her face is disgusting. I'm gonna call it now. <laughs> Don't like wow. Here's Lord of the Rings online. Your mother hates you. <laughs> she, she hates you, man. <laughs> I said sure, I would play with her. But after about an hour, the only thing I learned about the game is that it was a copycat, cut and paste of WoW and Lord of the Rings universe, plus doors, plus doors, plus doors, big fucking, big doors. fucking doors. Wait, hey, instructions. Right click. Game changer. Oh, I shit you not. Did you know how to open a door in Lord of the Rings? Now you do. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm all over it, dude. Saving me some time, man. So she got me a new World of Warcraft with parental control settings. What does that what mean? What the fuck's a parental... How do you do... That's what? only got to be, like, Isn't swearing. that a mature language filter? Yeah. It's a tick box. <laughs> I can bypass a tick box. I'm a hacker. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I've hacked the game. <laughs> I'll have you know, I hacked the game. Pretty hard to find that tick box now with all these menus. <laughs> she wouldn't allow me to get my old account back. I was very sad about losing my crappy hunter. Very sad. When I was 16 in high school, I met Moist Cakes. Who would soon be my girlfriend. On an orchestra field trip. One time at band camp? No! Orchestra field trip. That's one time at band camp. That is totally band camp. That's one time at band camp. I met this girl called Moist Cakes and we fucked and now we're boyfriend girlfriend. Yeah. That's what happened. Dude, Dem that band camp though. There's lots of fucking going on in Dem the band camp. Dem be the fucking years. You so. thought American fucking years, American Pie was taking yeah. a piss. No, no, it's, it's real life. For it's real, based on true events. Fucking, fucking years. We're fucking all over that band camp. There'd be streams of jism <laughs> all over that arena. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fucking band camp, baby! <clears throat> Fucking egg sandwiches everywhere. She shoved the flute up my ass. I'm joking, that's in the film. That didn't happen. Oh, I, was, I just immediately. You, you didn't even face, you're like. As soon as you said that, like my cock jumped out my pants, you're like, hey, what's going on in here? <laughs> I learned that she gamed in Eve and in Lord of the Rings, and that she played on a European server in Lord of the Rings. My mom, the Gashbringer who wanted to get to know about this random girl I was spending a lot of time with, decided to make a European account in Lord of the Rings. The Gashbringer be stalking the moist cakes, Euro style. What do you do if your mum starts making MMO accounts to track you? Just punch you in the face. I'm old enough, mate. I'm old enough. <laughs> I'm old enough to punch you I'm in the face enough. for this. I'm totally old enough. She found out the server because I told her. That makes sense. Thinking she would not, she would find it interesting, not because she wanted to stalk my girlfriend. Huh. Moist cakes thought this was funny and invited my mom to her guild. Ah, you fucked it up. Any hopes? Oh, dude, I know. Is this in the RP story? I assume so. I know where he's going now. Yes. Ooh, oh. ooh, no, no, not like, oh. not three way. That's what you're thinking. He ain't gonna no, even a two-way. No, 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 no. If his girlfriend, no. His, if the gash maker. I don't want to say it because I'm gonna. Uh, fuck! I can't even tell you. I'm so excited, but I need to tell someone just. I so thought I can you meant right. the gash maker and no, moist case. Get no. He's, so he's gonna start. Else. He's gonna start putting it away in game, and his mum's gonna like listen to some shit. <laughs> Listen to what? Not like the typing from the other room. No, she's <laughs> like she's gonna be in game, seeing it all happen. Ugh. With hobbits? With like fucking... No, it's in World of Warcraft oh, now. Are in Lord of the Rings? Are you in Lord of the Rings now? Lord of the Rings? But fucking she, yeah, she's, gonna, she's totally going to be like, i just seen everything that you've fucking done, you little prick. Fuck And off. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm very aroused. <laughs> I love you. Exactly. Look at these panties. Yep. 
egg sandwich. <laughs> oh, gross, dude. You, you made this so much worse. I didn't. Someone else <laughs> did that. Someone else did it. <clears throat> Incest in Wincest. <laughs> <laughs> yes! We're not even halfway through, this is filth. Let's go. <laughs> the gash maker would rarely leave her room for a whole year after that. Because she met Cutie, the guild leader. Ooh. <clears throat> and he's from Scotland. He's a lot. tough bastard. The Lord Gashbringer. <laughs> he's Sean Connery. <laughs> he's totally Sean Connery. Walks into like the little party. Lovely party. I love your uh, hairy hobbit toes. You look very sexy. <laughs> Have you seen my one ring? Can I see your pushy? <laughs> it's so filthy. At least put it in the Lord of the Rings universe. <laughs> just, I did do. You're just flat out filth. Women have got vaginas in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Keeping it in game. Get off my fucking cage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cutie. You big Scottish sex machine. <laughs> <clears throat> Over the course of the year, she would talk with him in game for hours. With a sign on her room door that read, Do not disturb. <laughs> Fucking genius. <laughs> genius. <laughs> she bought a sign. <laughs> she came into him one day and went, Oi, see this? <laughs> Do not Just fucking go in. Well, this is on my door. Oh, God. Stay the fuck clear. Because this is the cash break. Oh, God. The the Gashbringer. Gashbringer. Gashbringer demands no one and respect the sign. <laughs> the Gashbringer says, respect the sign. When they say, see this? Then fuck off. <laughs> she put a sign on the door that said, do not be stirred. Oh, no, I know why this is. Oh, it's you not don't know prediction. where it's going. I do now. All right. I do now. Well, well you keep it to yourself. <clears throat> I want to do it. In realistically speaking, you could read it, but there you go. <laughs> I'm fucking gonna do it. I'm skipping a few paras. Moist cakes would also in front inv invite Vamir, who was Cutie's son. But all he would do was talk about how pro ninja skills in other FPS and RTS, RTS games he was, and not really play Lord of the Rings. <laughs> when I come to a dungeon, sure, I'm really good at COD. Why I've got 12 headshots. <laughs> I can micromanage. My APM <laughs> is through the roof. <laughs> Through the roof! You're dead. <laughs> Fuck! 360 no scope. It's like Tourette's. <laughs> Head, hedge, headshot. <laughs> I would manage to get QE. What was it? Vamir, the Gashbringer, and Moist Cakes to play WoW after about five months. And after that, that time, we would be in a decent raiding guild doing the Firelands. So in the Firelands, we've got Lovely Party, The Gashbringer, The Moist Cakes, The Gashbringer, and Vamir. I was the designated loot master. Oh. Yes. I'd like you to assign the loot. <laughs> to your mother. To your mother. To your mother. Can you not assign loot to your mum? You wouldn't. Fuck that. I don't assign <laughs> loot to anyone. I think you should give it to your mum. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that though? Oh, I need this. Yeah, but so does your mum. And to be fair, it's your mum. Yeah. yeah. I'll go and ask her. <sighs> do not disturb. Can't. Oh, oh that sucks. I was it. about to go and ask oh, her, but I can't get in. She do not disturb. She, she made a rod for her own back. <sighs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Sometimes you bring these things on yourself, mother. Unbelievable. Sometimes you bring them on yourself. <laughs> I was a designated loot master for Group B. Team two. <laughs> Group B. We know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, you know what you mean. The reserves. <laughs> yeah. B, eh? Is that what you called it? Beta squad? <laughs> <laughs> I would always give myself and Moist Cakes the loot. Fair one. If Cutie, Vaymir, or the Gashbringer won the role, they would get angry and I would still do it. <laughs> yes. The guild leader didn't really care because we were Group B. <laughs> Group B's having loot problems. Not my problem. I honestly don't know what it would. Hey, <laughs> some members in Group B ain't having loot problems. What am I doing? Ask me. Looking into a can? No, I'm looking for my care. <laughs> oh, it's nice. not in there. No. It's not in there. Can you imagine that? Though, this is my Group B can. Gashbringer says you're taking a loot. Yeah, but Gashbringer's a fucking chatty Cathy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, she's gonna take his PC, but how would she get out of the room? Do you understand? Oh, you should put his own sign up. Ah, 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 ah nice. This is my house. <laughs> Home base, bitch. Home base. <clears throat> my spawn point. Okay, we're still gonna end up homeless, so. Let's keep our joy We've high now. Let's keep our joy high yeah, now. Let's do it. <clears throat> the guild leader didn't care because we were team two and we sucked. And was allowed to get away with it. <clears throat> the gash bringer, Cutie, and Varen would soon quit because of it. And I was glad they left. Not sure why I invited them anyway. I can't believe you actually wrote that. Holy shit. Glad they left it. I'm not sure why they invited anyway. <laughs> <laughs> They would go back to playing Lord of the Rings, and the Do Not Disturb was back on my mom's door. Maybe it's something about Lord of the Rings. I we could be getting the wrong end of the stick here. It might be Lord of the Rings. The is RP, that fucking intense? The RP might be better in Lord of the Rings if she went back to it just to fuck Sean Connery. Focus. Focus is such needed. I'm going to put my sting in your one ring. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he means arsehole, though. <laughs> Moist Cakes would come up to me in school one day, telling me she caught my mother and cutie in the town of Bree, ERPing. There's nothing like ERPing in somewhere named after cheese. That's moist. <laughs> Where should we ERP? Let's take it to the cheese. Let's take it to the cheese, man. Bree is nice in and fairness, thick and gooey. In fairness, you could say that about Goldshire, because that was surely the name of a cheese. It's got a shire on the end of it. Wensleydale? No. Goldshire. Nothing's, nothing's as creamy as brie. Goldshire cheese. <laughs> I can only imagine the sorrow of seeing your friend's mother ERPing with your guild leader in a video game. Me and Moist Cakes never really ERP'd that much. Because she doesn't like him, he's a prick. Oh, no, that's not true. Well, you've got a certain amount of time before you can put ERP on the table. If you miss that window of opportunity, it's never going to happen. Meet a girl, get your feet under the table, say... Can I fuck you in game? <laughs> Say, wanna come to Brie? Wanna come to Brie? You wanna come to Brie? Let's do it. You know what I mean, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. I wanna say Brie, you know what I mean. Screwdriver. Ain't no. Screwdriver. Screwdriver all day. <laughs> You've gotta go for the pop. <laughs> <laughs> it's gross, man. I know. I can't even put this one up on the it's... channel. <clears throat> You can do. <laughs> Moist Cakes and I told Goat, the guild master. <clears throat> oh, shit, no. What? What? Oh, my God. What? what? Game what? changer. Is it going to be bad? Am I going to feel bad? Moist Cakes and I told Goat. Who's Goat? My mom's current boyfriend who was living with us. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, Sean Connery's in-game, like... With them, shaving, she's still, shaving the feet. So, but she's still with the stepdad, goatee. So they're like, my mum's fucking someone in game here. <laughs> just, just say. Do you want to sort she, that she out? Want to sort, you know that don't, do not disturb, Stein. It's not because she's busy. It is not. She's getting. Because she's getting a brie on. Yeah, she's getting. She's got a brie on. She's getting a brie on. She is getting a brie on. She's getting a brie on. <coughs> brie on. Getting a brioche. <laughs> brie on. <laughs> she's getting a brioche. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like he's getting a brioche. <laughs> That's going to be cold forever now, forever. <laughs> uh, we told her that she caught my mom ERPing with someone from Scotland in Lord of the Rings. He already knew. Oh! oh! He's oh! into it. He's fucking into well, it. But he might not be. He might be like an overlord who's actually plotting his revenge. Oh, he's a bit of a if bitch. If he doesn't, if, we, if he doesn't, and he is the bitch route, then this story I'm just gonna disregard. It's fucked. If he goes up to Scotland, like you know, like kills him or something. Jesus, like Highlander. Yeah. Could only be one <laughs> yeah. stepdad. Could only be one <laughs> stepdad. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm becoming the Highlander. I imagine it though, like he's sat in a chair. You can only see the top of his head. He's got his back to the door, and he's looking out of a window. It's like my mum's the RP and I'm the server with some like Sean Connery motherfucker and he don't even turn around and he just goes, I know. <laughs> but then it's just like, it's just, oh, it's evil as <laughs> shit. He's just calling like an airstrike or something like that to this motherfucker's house. You tell him in the rat's reaction, you just go, oh, oh, oh that's badass. But yeah, if you, but like he does it silently though, like, because you don't want him to turn around and see the expression. I think we've built this guy up too much. But like, wait, 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 wait. But he's he's he, goes, he goes, I know, and he just goes, 
He's anticipating the revenge. Ace. Yes. Ace. I don't think that's going down, though. I think... Uh, Fuck, man. This story's going to be so shit if he doesn't now. <laughs> you fill it up too much. <clears throat> okay. At least he's shivering or something. You ready? He Go. knew. Moist Cakes did the biggest face palm I had ever seen. Then went home. Shit. <laughs> she was hoping for the drama. Hey, your wife fucking someone in game. I know. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> fuck this. This is shit. He proceeded to tell me that the Gashbringer was going to visit him in Scotland for the whole summer, leaving me here with alone step, in my house. Dad. Alone in my house with three months worth of long lasting food. Dried milk. <laughs> Free dried milk. You fine. Food. Tin of beans. <laughs> I'm leaving you and moving to Scotland for three months. Canned food. You're fine. Beans and sausage. Not skimping. Not skimping. Not skimping. There's actual sausage in there. <laughs> so. sauce. It's got pork in it. <laughs> and now I'm going to get some pork in me. I'll see you later. Oh! 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 Yes. Good lord. But still, that's terrible, by the way. We joke, but that's awful. <laughs> that's a terrible thing to do. <clears throat> and that goat and the gash bringer had broken up after 12 years. You went the bitch route, you see? You fucking... You took it too high. Did he just say, I know, and then broke up with her? Is that what he was doing? What? Is that what happened? He said, I know about your mum, and then he broke up with her. Yeah. I know. I'm done with this fucking story. I'm telling you, man. Shit. You expected more? I wanted to toss my mum's $2,000 computer out of the window, but he didn't have respect for the PC. I admire that. It's too far. It's too far. Luckily, though, throughout the... It's too far, that. Stupid! <laughs> don't fuck with a PC, right? Wait! Whoa! 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 whoa. Crazy now! Your mother might be yeah, leaving bro, you. Hey, hey, rock You've got, but she bought you beans and sausage. So yeah, fuck me. Oh, she didn't have to buy you that. Leave the PC you? alone, hey. all right? Leave, smash everything else. Leave the PC alone. Luckily, throughout the summer, the goat gave me a lot of money to not eat crappy food. You bought pizza as fuck, and you know you did. <laughs> and he made food as well when he came over. What a bro! Is this a stepdad? This is a stepdad. Came it's back to not, look after the not, kid. Twelve not years, fucking bro. Twelve years. Came back to look after the kid yeah, while the mum abandoned does. shit. Calls up them like social service type That's, people. That is what he does. Yeah, that is what he does. And then he says, "Listen, right, this kid's whore of a mother. Oh shit, it's this guy's uh, fuck it. This whore of a mother. She's gone to Scotland like getting a fucking pork on. With Sean Connery. Yeah, yeah, and Sean Connery's just like lovely party. <laughs> 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 and then when he goes and stabs him." He also paid for his WoW account. All right. Yeah? All right. Can we get some respect for the goat? Come on. No. Can you pay for the WoW account? Okay, the WoW account can get a bro first. There you go. <clears throat> the Gashbringer took her computer with her to play Lord of the Rings while over there. Of course the PC was going with. <laughs> Duh. <clears throat> <clears throat> I told the moist, uh, what was it? Moist, moist cakes? I told moist cakes, my girlfriend, to ninja loot from her if she had the chance. And she did. And got kicked. My mom sent me angry emails about it. <laughs> 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 me and moist cakes laughed so hard reading them. I made an account of Lord of the Rings to troll my mother as much as possible. Yes. Yes. The she way that a kid can troll, I like it. Let's do this. She found out it was me and sent me more angry emails. emails. <laughs> Don't even ring him up. No. Sends him an email. Stop trolling me about the rings. Reply. Plex. ASAP. Plox. <laughs> like. <laughs> like. At least he wasn't on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. At least he wasn't on Facebook, dude. It Gash could be bring fucking a worse. You. At least he wasn't on Facebook, hey. right? Hey. 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 When she came back, she told me we were moving to Scotland to get ready to leave in a few months. I did not. You know what? It's not going to happen in that in the happy way that I want. But if he fucks off with goat and he's like, "Fuck off, you go shag that Sean Connery motherfucker up there," mm. but he then goes off with goat, then I'll be happy with that. But if not, then it's just like a. Well, Does he go with the goat? Sad. That was pretty sad. Vote now. Does he go with the goat? <laughs> we want to see that, don't we? This guy's like, "Fuck you, bitch! You've treaded <laughs> all over this guy, and he's stuck by me. He's not. He, he's not even my dad." <laughs> Come on, happy ending. Come on, happy ending. We all we like believe happy it. ending. Let's I really it. did not want to leave my home, but was being forced to go and told everyone I would be gone in a few months. I'm not sure what the gash brinker was thinking, but it turns out she did not have the money to take us. <laughs> Bastard. 
<laughs> We're going to Scotland. Can she you spent, afford it? No. She spent it all on that dude up the stairf side. That thing was flashy as fuck. That well. was gold. Had lights, lights. Red lights. Fucking red lights. Had, like spotlights that went up in the <laughs> sky. Like Oscar <laughs> films and stuff. You used to have a thing where she turned it up. Proximity alarm. <laughs> Retinal <laughs> scanner. <laughs> it is all going on. Oh, God. She lost her job at Comcast. She works at Comcast. What's Comcast? Do you not read it? Comcast are the devil. This makes a lot of sense now. All right. She lost her job at Comcast a few years back and we were being supported by the GOAT. But without him, we lost our home. My grandmother who lived on the other side of the US are offered to let us stay with her. <laughs> I said if I could... I, what does that say? My... Said. It's got a word there that you deleted. Oh! <clears throat> My mother said I could stay where we were if I could find a place to stay where we currently lived. Luckily, Moist Cake's brother, Vami... No? Oh, I already used that. Baller. Oh, that works. Baller. Who had a job and was out of college said I could live, at his, live in his backyard. Because there's no, <laughs> there's no shed or anything like, like a that. dog. <laughs> Just like a lawn. <laughs> yeah, I got a place you can stay. Walks through the house. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great house. I got it out of college. Pretty hey, good. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, Open the back door. That's my dog's bed. <laughs> yeah, that's that tweet. That's Jenkins' bed. Your bed's over here. <laughs> sure, you can stay at my house. Out there. <laughs> you know Sprinkler you comes out of eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be asleep. <laughs> God, you can stay in my backyard, no problem. Because there's no room in the house. Anywhere? For like a person? The backyard's the only place. Yes. Still, the offer is there. Urban camping. <laughs> we'll go urban camping. Okay. Not sure if it was because of pity or because I was dating his sister, though. I don't think it's out of pity if you let you stay in the backyard. The backyard got Wi-Fi just fine. <laughs> How do you stay in the backyard? I bet you sat in the middle of the backyard with a computer. On a laptop with your legs folded. What are you doing? That's where I live. I got Wi-Fi. <laughs> why, why in the backyard? There's got to be something in his back garden. Like a fucking shit. It must be maybe a tent. A t How do you live in a tent in someone's back garden? It's got Wi-Fi. What's his mum doing? She ain't gone to Scotland. She ain't fucking gone. She's living with a grandmother. Why ain't he gone with a grandmother? Because he wants to stay with most cakes. But his grandmother's in the fucking US. She can't be that good a fuck. The other side of the US. US. Now, we don't know which side they were on. They could have been very north. and had to go way down Mexico way. Mexico? Mexico way. It still can't be better than... He some... might not like Santa. Can't be better than some prick's back garden. Julio right? Iglesias. <laughs> He's not from Mexico. Julio Iglesias. <laughs> <laughs> Stop saying it. Chili burritos. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> pros See, that's why you pros gotta go cons. now, you gotta go. <clears throat> okay, so we got Wi-Fi in the back. Uh, the backyard got Wi-Fi just fine, and I was allowed in the house for restroom and shower if needed. Like a dog. Dude, this is such a sad story. <laughs> P, do you need it? <sighs> wait, 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 how much do you need it? No. What's the password? I need a shower, come here. Not yet. <laughs> You got another three days left on you, son. <laughs> Get out of here, yard. Come on. Send the sprinklers on it. Come eh? on. Get your arms up. <laughs> You'll be fine. Me and Moist Cake started playing WoW on a private server a few weeks ago because I could not pay for WoW retail. Man, the story's just fucking max depressed. Isn't it? Well, and my mum turned the time... Because uh, uh, I could not pay for retail WoW and, my, uh, and the, go the gash maker turned the time settings on the WoW account so I could never play on my Holy Paladin either. I don't know what the time settings are. What? There is a picture of my current homeless setup along with this email. <gasps> Can I see it? He's got a current homeless setup, so we shouldn't laugh at this because it is a current oh, setup. Oh, I can't open it. You've saved it in some weird it's file. It's a fucking dot dat. What's a dot dat pictures? I don't know. Dat picture. <laughs> that was <laughs> our final story for today. I just want to say. Oh, hang about. Wait, 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 wait. Let me do my thing. In all seriousness, no, we wish you the best. Thank you for sharing yes. the story. We do yes, honestly we wish do. you the best. As Can I rewrite the end of this story? Sure, go for right, it. Right, so what happens is, so like, let's go back to the point where she, the mum's going to Scotland, stepdad's in his office, he's just sat there. I, I imagine he's got like... Like a, Dr. A very, Claw? No, no, no. A very plush, plush, grey Armani suit on. So it's, it's a dark room. Imagine Scarface's office, but the chair's turned the other way. You can see the top of his head. He's just looking out the window, contemplating how to get back at this bitch. Right, and he's just sat there. You walk in, say, mum's going to Scotland to be with this Scottish geezer, like Sean Connery motherfucker. And all he says is, I know. Oh, oh. And then you're like, 
Okay, you don't think nothing of it at the time. You don't think nothing of it. So anyway, we cut to, I'm making it a film, mate. Mm. We cut to the mother who's going up to Scotland. She's hitchhiking because she's a fucking tramp. On a plane. Yeah, on a plane. Uh, anyway, so uh, she's in Scotland now. But when she gets in there, she opens the door that's already open. Yeah. Sean Connery's fucking tea cakes. He sat there at his computer with a bullet hole in his head. She's like, ah! She runs to the front door. But when she turns around the front door, the stepdad's there, mate. The goat. The goat is there. And he's like, you're a fucking dickhead, mate. And then it just cuts to black and then he... So you don't know what happens to her? I do, okay, I do happen. Well, that's that's, that's the point on that. It cuts to black there. Because he's like, is he going to kill her? He's going to torture her? He's going to let her go? Has she suffered enough? Has he suffered enough? But anyway, we cut to like... It just says five years later, right? It just says five years later. Anyway, so then they're in this like big mansion now. So the stepdad, goat, is very happy with... His stepson, he's taking him under his wing, mate. It wasn't his fault. It wasn't his fault. He looked out for him and stuff like that. So he takes him under his wing and he's having fun. And anyway, Goat's just sat there now. He's looking out of his office chair. The camera actually pans around and it just sees him smiling. He's happy in the office. They've got a land type room in his office now. On one side, like Goat's playing away on whatever game he wants, mate. And on the other side, his missus is playing whatever she wants. And as the camera pans out, it goes through the window like it does in the films. And into the back garden. In the back garden, it's got a dog house, and it's got the mum, like, chained up with the dog thing around the neck. Hell. <laughs> Whoa! But she's got, like, a face painted like a dog as well, so they're treating her like a fucking dog. And it cuts to the credits, boom, black screen! And it pictures, like, like when you go to face painting for kids, it's like a really happy dog with the whiskers. <laughs> well, that's it! That's it! That's what they've done. He's looking out the window. You think, you think he's just contemplating, like, looking out the window, but he's not. He's sat there, he's looking down at her, and she's, like, dressed like a dog. With like a spike collar on and shit, eating dog food from a tray. The kids are happy, he's happy, Sean Connery's fucking dead. Good for everyone. The end. The no, end. no, no. Finn. Finn, mate. Finn. Written in fancy script. We will see you at the web show tomorrow. Peace.